truly dangerous, nothing you can see. I truly do not recommend that, it's very risky. Looks like the trip's off. Hi, my name's Ben and this is Yalabina Concertina, celebrating the people, places and projects of Egypt. First of all, if you haven't done already, I'd love it if you could uh, subscribe. At the end of the video, if you did like it, please hit the like button. Thank you. My sister and her husband are coming over. Uh, they're going to go into Luxor. We're going to go and visit. Uh, over the next few weeks, I'll be uploading videos uh, filmed in Luxor as part of a, like a mini series, if you like. Um, now, uh, as a family of five, uh, we've looked at the flights, the cost of the flights, and basically, we can't afford them. So we need to, some other way uh, of getting down there. The train is actually almost as expensive. Um, so we thought we'd give driving a go. We're gonna drive from Cairo down to Luxor. So Google says seven and a half hours of driving. That to me is not that far. I think that's pretty good. I think it will be important to do some research on this. Road trip, Cairo to Cape Town, steady on, Luxor. These first three results are adverts. The first one is, ah, TripAdvisor. That's quite a reputable website. Let's see what TripAdvisor has to say. So the question being asked, I'll just summarize. My fiance and I are planning to visit Luxor and Aswan. Uh, he insists on driving our own, uh, our own way from Cairo to Luxor. Is this possible or, or even safe? The first result here is from someone who signs off as Ahmed. Username is The Egyptian Guide. So he's a guide encouraging people to come to this beautiful country. Um, and he's considered a destination expert. Uh, and he's actually answered 3,536 posts. Ahmed should know what he's talking about. Let's see what he's got to say. I truly do not recommend that for many reasons. Oh, first of all, he should have an international driving license. Well, yes, we can do that. The highway from Cairo to Upper Egypt is really not recommended. Hmm. The agricultural road is truly dangerous. It's very narrow and it's two ways. There is completely nothing you can see over the way. Nothing to visit. It's just a very boring long drive for almost 10 hours at least. Okay. Let's see perhaps some other replies. It's very risky and it's very common to see animals, cows, donkeys, dogs, etc. So this person, uh, let's have a look what they say. Here's someone who's, who's done it. It was a wonderful trip down the Nile, but make no mistake, this is not something anyone should attempt on their own. Um, this is a, a, a Dutch guy. Forget the idea of doing the driving yourself, no matter how experienced you are driving elsewhere in developing countries. Cairo is madness. It's a city with 20 million people, crowded out of necessity, da 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 da. Yes, but we're not in Cairo. We're gonna be driving out of Cairo. For the middle Egypt leg, at minimum, you need to hire a driver who can handle all of the paperwork and permits done in advance and do all of the talking to all of the police checkpoints. Further, for those who only speak English, do not expect anyone on the road uh, in this area to speak English. But well, that's fair enough, it's not England. Here's another answer from someone from England. Uh, so many people think they can just arrive in Egypt, hire a car and take to the road. It's clear many of them haven't even looked at a road map or atlas at this stage. Another one. No way should anyone try who wasn't born there. Oh. Looks like the trip's off. Okay, all loaded up, family's in the car, we've got some snacks. Let's begin the road trip.
Okay, so we have been there, we've come back now, we've had a great time, and obviously I'm still here. So let's do a little bit of a review, let's address some of these concerns, and hopefully turn this around to be much more positive. Um, to be fair, that thread on TripAdvisor was nine years old. Uh, so some of the facts there probably were true, but it's different now. It, for example, it talked about um, being there being no mobile coverage and uh, GPS not working. Well, it worked all the way down and it, it, was, it was fine. The, the first of all, uh, Ahmed was saying that uh, the quality of the road was poor. Well, I thought the quality of the road was very good, actually. Um, someone spoke about uh, big trucks being on that road. Yes, of course there's big trucks, but very few and far between. Um, so I felt very safe. You can see it in, in the footage. It's, it's pretty empty. L later on, someone talks about the, uh, the scenery. Absolutely nothing to see. N nonsense, nonsense. There was so much to see. Um, yeah, if you do the trip every week, that's going to get boring. But if you've never seen scenery like that before, it is stunning. There were times we had to stop and get out of the car and just soak up the view. It, it was incredible in places. Um, wonderful desert scenes. And deserts are not boring. They, they do change as you, as you go along. Really, really interesting. Don't forget, people like me, we come from, from England. Our country does not look like this. To us, it is amazing. Um, and maybe even to Egyptians, they find it amazing. I don't know. Let me know. The animals, there are a few, uh, but mainly in the cities. The paperwork, that I think is a big concern of people. Uh, the checkpoints and or what do you do? Every time I was actually waved through, every time, uh, there, was, there was no problems. Uh, there, there was one time I was stopped and asked for my documents one time, and that was because I was speeding, actually. Uh, so fine of a hundred and twenty pounds or something. Um, so fair cop. All the other times they, they just waved me through and there was no paperwork, no police escort. I guess this is something that's changed. Um, on the matter of the services on the road, uh, I thought there were actually quite a few ambulance stations and places to eat as well. I, I thought there was enough. Uh, don't let your fuel get too low. I did at one point and I was a little bit nervous. I had to turn around and go back actually. The idea that you can't drive here if you're not Egyptian, if you weren't born here, I find that bizarre. I've heard it a few times actually. Um, it, it's not like Egyptians have this kind of gene passed down from the pharaohs. Um, it, you're, you're just people. They're people, I'm a person. It's something I can learn. And, and yeah, it is a different style, absolutely. But it's a style that, that us foreigners can adapt to. It's enjoyable. I, I, I like it. I, I find it fun and quite invigorating. That's why I did the road trip. I want to address a, a serious point about the safety of these roads. Uh, someone in the forum mentioned about wrecks at the side of the road. There's a few reasons why you'd see more wrecks here in Egypt. Um, <laughs> one of the main things is uh, in the UK when there's an accident, the authorities clear that up and take the cars away. Here, I think if you roll your car, it's probably going to stay there unless you take it away or unless someone else takes it away and strips the car and, you know, unless they can make money out of it. So um, it's probably not that more accidents happen, but um, the evidence is left. So, so as you're driving, you are reminded of these accidents, which probably isn't always a bad thing. Seeing these cars can just remind you to, to take it slowly a little bit. And another really kind of good point to remember is uh, there are no barriers on these roads. In the UK, the motorways have barriers and if you just drift off, you hit the barrier, you come back on. Um, here, if you drift off, you're probably going right off and, and your car might roll and it'd probably be a serious accident. Does that make it more dangerous? Well, yeah, when you look at everyone driving that road, yes, probably it does a bit. But actually, Ask yourself, did you ever crash into one of those barriers? I've never crashed into a barrier at the side of the road. Um, I've never needed those. So for me, it, it's not a problem if I just go a bit steady um, and I'm a bit careful, make sure I stay on the road, then, then it's fine. And, and I don't feel 
uh, it's, a, it's at all less safe. So to sum up, would I do it again? Yes, I would. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Uh, but probably only if you are into road trips. If you like road trips, it was fantastic. Please, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Until next time, shukran, masalama, Robert Amaku.